Galveston, the mayor there warns that it could be about two weeks before power is restored for some people. We do know that in Houston, at least seven people died as a result of these storms, including one elderly woman who had a tree fall on her home. And we are still getting a look at some of this debris after yesterday's storm. And we're meeting some North Texans who are rising to the challenge to pitch in to help out those in need. We're going to check in with Natalie Haddad, who is live in Dallas with a group that always seems to rise to the occasion. Always, time and time again, you know, earlier we talked about how over 160 agencies and organizations across the state, including many from North Texas, are headed to help our fellow Texans to the south right now. We are standing in front of oodles of trailers and equipment that belong to Texans on mission. They are going to take it to Houston here in the next 30 minutes or so. And with me is John Hall. He is with Texans on mission. He is about to make the drive down to our south to provide for those in need. Tell me, what are you going to, what, what is your first step? What is going to come first when you get down there to Houston? Well, the very first thing is we're gonna provide 6,000 meals a day to Houstonians who have no power. And as we know all too well, when you don't have power, you don't have refrigerators, you don't have stoves, you don't have ovens, and you can't go down the street to your favorite restaurant to get something to eat. And so these 6,000 meals are crucial right now with the millions of people who don't have power. Uh, these are going to be a crucial hot reminder and a hot nutrition for them to use. Plus, they send a message of, hey, there are folks who care about you. We're in this together. We're going to help you. Uh, we love you. God loves you. And so we're going to help you go toward the road of recovery as quickly as possible. And you have the mobile kitchen, which is fabulous. But what other equipment do you have in these trailers that are going to be able to provide um, otherwise for our friends in the South? No doubt. So we we're going to send a shower unit, a laundry unit. And so folks can, you know, you, again, you have no power, you can't even do laundry, which might be a blessing for some people. You may be, just get out of this, but they're needing it desperately down there. And so they can bring loads of laundry to us, and within 24 hours, we'll wash it, we'll dry it, we'll fold it and give it right back to them. Uh, we've got chainsaw units who are removing trees from on top of houses. We're just trying to share God's love as quickly as possible. Absolutely. And very quickly, John, for our viewers, you know, we talked off camera about you really need donations, but there's one thing in particular Texans on Mission is really in need of. No doubt. This has been an incredibly difficult time for, for Texans across the board. We need volunteer help. Uh, if you've ever wanted to help somebody after a disaster, whether you have skills or think you have skills, you have more than you know. There's a place for everybody to serve through here. John, thank you for being with us here on Daybreak. We're going to chat a little bit more off camera. I'm going to send it back to you in studio now, Mark. Uh, if you are looking for any information on how you can help Texans on missions, you can go to WFA.com right now for all of that. Mark. Great stuff now.